Miss Tanya and yeah fun fact about me I am so incredibly enabled all I have to do is watch a video of somebody's showing something that's new to me and I instantaneously want it and in this case it was Jane Davenport she was showing how she was using this Crayola marker maker to make her own markers from her inks well I mean do I need to say more <laughs> I'll link a video below because she actually does a fantastic demo of it and I've already made mine but I just wanted to show you that uh, yeah it is so much fun so let me quickly show you what comes in the box obviously all the all the actual marker stuff came as well but I've made mine so I'll just show you it comes and you have to you have to attach this arm which I found kind of a little hard it takes my brain a little bit, not not that I didn't know how to do it, it was just forcing it in. But once it's on, it's fabulous. And then you take that off and look, you get a pair of the cutest looking Sweetie Pie tweezers. And you then, what it does say is you need to remove the storage. You get this handy storage little portion below. There's your handy storage. But you need to remove it when you're making your markers because this needs to lie flat. And then you get two of these little measuring measuring things. They remind me of chemistry. Don't, don't you think of being in a lab and doing things, mixing stuff? Yeah. So these actually very nicely clip in here. So this is your little space to make your stuff so it won't fall over. Obviously this is geared towards children. I mean Crayola is wonderful for that and they give you these inks and they even give a really nice chart, mixing chart, which shows you, as you can see, what quantities you need to put in to make the colours and I think that would be a fantastic thing to do with your kids. Now my kids are old so I bought it for me. So I was the kid and I will tell you I had so much enjoyment making these and I'm saying enjoyment because I'm tired of saying fun. And yes, so, and so apparently is the word of the day, you end up with a marker like this. Essentially, it comes all separated. You push in your marker nib, okay, you push that in, you put it in here, you take the innards, which is just like a sponge material, cylinder sponge, and you put, you put your ink in here, and what I, what, Jane recommended and I highly recommend too is you don't need to put up to the top you need to put between 13 I don't know if you can see the markings there it's got up until 15 but you only really need to put into about 13 and you put your spongy thing in and this does clip in you put your sponge in there within seconds it sucked up all the ink it's fascinating to watch and so you put that in you put your little lid on you close this and with a very satisfying click it pushes your whole marker together. You then take your lid, you put your lid on, you stick it there, and that's why it needs to lie flat, so that all the ink can flow down to the nib. And it comes as well, it comes with a sheet of stickers, which you can then use to put on. Jane, of course, had lovely, um, her own stickers, but I, uh, I just put the color on there. <laughs> Not the colour name, of course. Not even which ink I used. I just put the colour. I'm, I'm free, free willying it. That's what I'm doing. And what I thought was really cute is it comes with these boxes because you make 16 markers. So you can put eight markers in here. Oh, look, it says eight. And you've got markers created by me. Yeah, not narcissistic at all. <laughs> but I thought that was so cute. You could actually make, you could make markers and give them as a gift. So what did I use for inks? Let's just put this away and I'll show you. And it all just goes together so easily and it, oh God, it was it was more enjoyment I've had for a long time I will say so it all, super simple to do all the instructions are there and this might have a satisfying click there we go very satisfying click <laughs> and you just put it all back together again and I think obviously you can buy extra refills and things and let's just get that out of the way I don't think it's a new thing on the market. I did have a look on YouTube and I mean it's I think it's been around for many many years. But it's new to me, so 
and yeah can you imagine making your own markers custom colors none of mine are actually custom colors they are just straight from the ink bottles that I used but you could make custom colored markers I oh, know I sound like Jane <laughs> what I <laughs> used what I used were a mixture of I have some of Jane's inks which I love and I have a set of the PH, Dr. PH Martins Radiant Watercolors, which I adore. They are so vibrant. And then I threw in a couple. I think these are the new... Oh, I think this is Pink Fresh Studio who brought out these new liquid watercolors. A lot of the scrapbook companies, um, stamping companies, have been bringing them out. I know Hero Arts have some. Um, I think... Oh, oh, there's lots. So all, all you've got to do is look. And they make... They make really lovely markers, and I did a swatching as I was doing it. Why do you want to roll away? In in this, this is actually a, a new little watercolor sketchbook that I bought. It's from the B Creative Company, B Paper, and so I'm trying that out. And yeah, look at that! Ta-da! Look at all those fun colors. And fun fact. What I didn't realize, and maybe I should have done, I don't know, is that when you write it and then you put water over it like I've done, I thought that because it's watercolor, I thought all the watercolor would, would go away, but it doesn't, as you can see there. And there, this one did, I must admit, the chartreuse, that one did, but all the rest of them you can still see. So what I'm imagining one can do with these is use them like to outline when you're art, journal oh, art journaling or to colour in. I, I'm not a colourist. I'm I'm really, I'm not much of an art journaler either. I just like trying out new things and playing with fun product. But I'm imagining there's, there's a lot of potential with these, which I'm sure all the, you know, see there it went a little bit, which all the more, more um, experienced people will be able to do. Oh, this is perforated. Look at that. Anyway, but yeah, I mean, I look at all of those and they've got all their little pretty colors on there and I'll show you let's show you I'm not going to draw anything because that would just embarrass the living heck out of me but this one and of course I probably should have actually said what they were instead of just putting the color on but you know I was yellowing life yesterday let's do that let's yolo life but look at that yolo life And then if I quickly get, and I just want to quickly show you, it's a bit dirty water. See, it does spread the color, but you still have your original YOLO life there, which to me <laughs> is super cool. So it's nice paper actually, nice book. So yeah, that is what I did yesterday. And I de-stressed from my day and the you know the daily stresses of life and I made markers with beautiful pretty colored inks and I'm going to be incorporating them into my art journaling yeah this is an anticipation of Christmas where we have wonky trees apparently <laughs> and stop and yeah I you know and you can of course, oh I wonder, let's colour, let's colour a whole bunch there. And now I don't know, I mean obviously you get refills and things, but I'm wondering if this runs out whether one can just, you know, put that little spongy thing back in the water and do it some more. Okay, that's not so bad. No, oh, hello kitty cat. But yeah, so that's not so bad. But yeah, you do still obviously get, and I think you probably get that with actual markers. Let's get a... This is a Tombow. Let's try that and see. Let's colour in my tree. Because I think these are water-based. I'm pretty sure these are water-based. Let's get rid of all that. And let's see. Oh, look at that. We've got some colour going there. But yeah, you still have your, your lines, which you've got. Actually, that does really nicely. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> maybe one should just get a whole bunch of Tombows. But, but... This is not expensive. <laughs> Tomas are a little bit expensive. But yeah, there we go. 
Oh, look at that. Mixing my colours now. Oh, Tanya, look at you go. And just to finish it off nicely, because I like to live in a little fairyland, I'm going to have a pink cat. There. Pink cat. With the eyes and ears. Yes. There we go. So yeah, that is what I did yesterday and I will leave links below. There are affiliate links, but I mean, be that as it may, <laughs> whatever. But I, I kind of really, really, really had a lot of fun with it. And if you are the kind that likes to make your stuff and play with different stuff and, I don't know, make customised markers. This little Crayola marker maker, it's for you. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Click on that notification bell if you'd like to see more from me. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.